Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Enemigos de Suerte. I probably mangled that, and I have no idea what I said. All right, let's see. Who did they ban? Of course, Silk, um, Void, uh, Masacre. Okay. Let's go on in here, see who they have planned for us on our path. All right, so we got Hulk, and he's the global defender. So from what I learned the last time, I can't just pick any old um, attacker and they've already gotten rid of one of the ones that I use that has no uh, buffs. So I might actually bring in Ant-Man. Trying to remember if I... Did I rank him up? I may have ranked him up already. So Ant-Man for this Hulk... We've got, um, let's see, who do we have up here? Aha. So we're going to go with Corvus again. Corvus can do it. And if we haven't lost the fight before I fight with Corvus, um, I'll probably just boost. But can't use Corvus for this Nimrod. And that Ant-Man future is annoying. Very, very annoying. Might bring Hulkling in. I don't know. But we'll see. So if I bring Ant-Man in for Hulk, because I have to choose a, a an attacker tactic i mean a dk attacker maybe i'll look and see who else i have that's a dk attacker ranked up um very annoying but that that's what kabam has decided to do and it works we're feeling the squeeze on our um our roster so that we're ranking up champs we may not have thought about ranking up to deal with this um, but I definitely want Corvus in here for that path so uh, right now it'll be Corvus and a DK attacker and I'm thinking Ant-Man so for Nimrod what I'm gonna do is either bring in Hulkling or Gallon and let's see who we have here that I might be able to take. Hmm. Ant-Man. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I'll look and see who I have. But I don't know if I have anyone. Because if I use Corvus and I use Ant-Man here, then I'd have to use Gallon or Hulkling. And Gallon is not going to do that Korg. Hulkling, I guess he could do it. But the problem is um, the uh, buffs. And Hulkling gets a lot of buffs. So, um. So I would need to bring someone in 
or one of the minis that can also take that um, Nimrod. Yeah, and I don't, I don't really think I have anyone that's already ranked up. So if I do bring those three in, then somebody else is going to have to uh, cover the minis. Backup will have to cover uh, one of the minis. That's why we have backup. All right. So it's looking like Corvus, um, Ant-Man, and Gallon. And Gallon might be able to do another one of these fights, but I'm not thinking that he can right now. Let me see. Yeah. It's just a bad uh, set of uh, defenders for me. And I'm still worried about that Ant-Man future. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. So we're going in here with Gallon, Quicksilver, and Corvus. Now, Quicksilver, you don't get a chance to see me use him very often. However, he is a DK attacker. Now, there is something that I learned the hard way about Quicksilver. Um, I think it was in a later uh, war. He is not immune to buffs. He doesn't benefit from the dexterity buff, but he's not immune to buffs. So he can get buffs on him and that can be disastrous, let's just say. But in this fight, we don't have to worry about it. Hulk is not going to do that. And the strategy going in here is basically hit him with a heavy attack so I can get double of my uh, charges. I forget what they're called. All right, heavy and then just start, you know, backing up. See how I'm doing? Until I can get up to 300. All right. Once I get 300, there's a permanent slow on him. All right. See, now I'm in the corner and I don't like being there. So I'm fighting out. But I'm still backing up. There we go. Now I'm at low momentum. And I can just go ham now. Now I can just fight like normal. Don't have to worry about... Uh, any unstoppables. However, something that I didn't notice as I was fighting, this Hulk, while he is a seven star, is not awakened. Guess what? I don't have to worry about that unstoppable when he's not awakened. So I played it safe. If he was awakened, this is exactly how I would play it, but didn't need to do all of that because he wasn't awakened. So didn't need to shut down that uh, unstoppable or anything like that. But better safe than sorry. All right, so Hulk went down pretty quick and easy. I do love Quicksilver, by the way. Didn't think I was gonna like him when he first came out because of the different cadence of his um, attacks. But once I got used to it, oh yeah. And I started learning how to play him. If you guys have watched me in Battlegrounds, when I do have a Battleground stream, and see me use Quicksilver, um, I know one person asked me, he's like, you use Quicksilver on offense? I was like, yeah, because he's good on offense and defense. But most people just have him on defense. But yeah, he's good on offense as well. All right, and here we go. Skadooshi. Very quick and easy. If you've watched me use Gallon, you already know how that fight was going to go. Very straightforward. You know, just hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Um, then when you have enough power, hit him with a heavy attack. And then you're special. And they're usually done at that point. Uh, doesn't work for everybody. But for the most part, that's Gallon. All right. On to uh, Section 2. And... This fight here, I'm not worried about it. She is very scary with her special one. 
But if you watched one of my previous wars where I got wrecked by her, well, I did a little practicing. So I wasn't too worried about this fight. If you can evade her special one, the fight is no problem, uh, even when she goes unblockable. But if she's not going to go unblockable, just block it and don't worry about it. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't playing uh, carefully when I got wrecked. So here we go. Parry. So I got all those armor breaks and I'm just doing medium, light, medium. Parry, medium, light, medium. Okay. Parry, medium, light, medium. And then all the way in to push her close to a special two, hitting into her block. But see, look, she's not unblockable. So no worry. Still doing the medium, light, medium. Hitting to her block anytime she doesn't want to come out. All right. Look at that. No unblockable. Medium, light, medium. But I should have parried because uh, I was getting a little bit of um, her power drain, as you can see. But it's all good. And I'm not worried about her special two. I want to push her to her special two. I can evade her special two all day long. But as you can see, we got her down pretty quick and easy. Didn't have to worry about evading her uh, special one. Now, this fight here. This, if I recall, is when I decided that this would be the last fight I used Corvus for. The last Ant-Man future fight that I used Corvus for. Had to make that clear because I'm still bringing Corvus. But even though he's great, I want you to see, look at all that glancing. Okay, that's annoying. And he's not immune to any power drain. Look at that. Detonation, got stunned. Nothing I can do about that. I'm not stun immune. And I'm just like, you know what? Why am I dealing with all this mess? And look at all the damage into my block. And I don't know how to evade him all that well. Um, I try to, you know, hit him with the um, intercept. Look at that. And then he just hit me. And I was trying to block. But whatever. At this point, I was like, okay, you know what? No more Corvus for this guy. Corvus can do it. But no more. No more. That's that's just annoying. Okay? I could have done that fight uh, with Corvus had I been more patient. I could have let the armor ups wear, um, wear off and we could have done that fight without a death, but it is what it is. Okay. That's, that's on me, but I decided I was like, no, I need a better counter for him on this note. Okay. Yep. See, there you go with the, uh, glancing. But he didn't have that much health left, so I already knew I'd be able to take him down. But I still ended up costing us, um, you know, a, an attack bonus, which I wasn't happy about. And it's a path fight. All right. Now, in this particular war, uh, I think all of the minis were covered by others, so I didn't have to do a mini this time. All right. So we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. This is the first war of the season that we've won. We lost the first two wars of the season, and I thought we were going to lose uh, the first three. But we actually won this one, and we won it pretty handily. I think they saw that they had lost and did like what we did, and just said, okay, just... No boosting, just revive, get the stuff down. Um, shout out to our MVPs. But that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you haven't uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. 
Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.